Okay, so you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy, but I just want to tell you guys like a little story that happened to me. Um, maybe like a few days at work. Uh, uh, like a go at work. Okay, so case in point. I had a really short shift. I'm getting ready to go home. And like this manager, like I think she was like a, an assistant store manager. She comes up to me and they're like, you know, she's like, oh... Can you please, you know, just clean up this little area, whatever, before you go? We're having a visit. And I'm just like, girl, I'll even like three minutes. And she's like, no, please, you know, just clean up for me. Please, please, please. I'm like, okay, whatever. I do it. Um, so it was like cleaning up coach giftables. Like we had the gift to go the giftables like out front, and people get all types of crazy when they see unmanned product. So anywho's, I'm minding my business. And I got done cleaning it, but then there were, like, I guess, I guess giftables that got stolen. So it had boxes, but no product. And in pretty much a case like that, what you would have to do is you would damage it out. Like, you'd make damage tags. So I'm minding my business, girl, doing these damage tags. And I literally get to the last motherfucking damage tag. It was for a Michael Kors giftable. And I'm not even sure why Michael Kors was even over by Coach. Because Coach is by Coach. Michael Kors is by Michael Kors. You know, like, each brand is kind of with each other. So I had no idea you, even why fucking... Oh my god, my bun. My bun is not cooperating. You can see you can see it's not cooperating in the shadow. Okay, now, now it kind of is. Uh, mm, together? Okay, whatever. So, yeah, I literally get to stapling the last one, which is a Michael Kors one, and I am a total klutz. I am the clumsiest person I, I know. I don't know anybody as clumsy as me. So I get, you know, I, I staple it, and I don't realize that my finger was in the direct path of the stapler. I felt this excruciating sharp pain along with hearing the click of the stapler and it fucking hit me bitch that I stapled my motherfucking like index finger. I mean, I'm black so I don't really change color like that. Um before it was kind of black and blue or like it was really red when it first happened. Now it's like you don't even see it. Let me see if you guys can see it. It's like I don't know, there's like a different slight like discoloration or whatever I don't know maybe I'm bugging or maybe y'all just can't see it but I, I know where it is because I see the little prick dot like shit is real oh my god and the shadow though okay yeah like I think you guys can see the little prick like the little dot oh my god like I have to google that shit like how fast does a staple come out of a stapler because honey I watched that little red dot grow into a big ass blood puddle and I think the thing that made me think that I was gonna die like I know this is, I know this is gonna sound dramatic like I, I literally know it's gonna sound dramatic but what made me think I was gonna die was that I'd never seen myself bleed like that like you know like if you're a person that bleeds a lot then you know you're used to bleeding a lot so you would just be like okay well whatever this is so normal just apply pressure you know but I don't bleed often. Like, I've stepped on so many sensors or had sensors prick me before in the past, and I never bled. So, to freaking literally watch a little tiny dot of blood grow to this big ass puddle to the point where it's running down my hand, I fucking almost lost it. I'm looking at my hand like, what the fuck? My coworker kind of lost it a little bit. She was like, oh my, because now at this point I'm in shock. Like I'm just, all I'm looking for at this point was just like napkins to like, you know, start cleaning up the blood that was like spouting, practically spouting out of my motherfucking finger. So I'm like going into my work bag or whatever and I'm like looking for my napkins, but I'm like fumbling because my hands are like so shaky at this point because I'm like freaking out. And she's like, oh my God, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? So I'm like, I'm looking for my napkins. And she like finds them. I find them and I get, I hand it to her. And she's like, okay. I'm like, you know, she gives it to me. And she's like, apply pressure, apply pressure. And I'm like, I know. So we're doing this and it stopped bleeding relatively quickly. Um, it didn't really last too long. Like it didn't bleed too long, but 
it bled a lot. And for somebody that, like I said, don't bleed often, don't really bleed much, it freaked me the fuck out. I legit thought I was gonna die. Like, legit. <laughs> and I know that sounds really, really dramatic, but I, le I legit thought, bitch, I was gonna die. It's gonna be death by a stapler. Like, I legit, that was gonna be on my death certificate, my nigga, like, death by a stapler. That's what I legit thought was gonna happen because, honey, I started bleeding so much. I was just like, <gasps> from a staple? My God. Listen, I don't even respect that stapler no more. And I know exactly which stapler did that foul shit to me. Anytime I see that stapler, it's a wrap. Like, I do not use that stapler no more. Them, all them motherfuckers black, but I know which stapler that was. Racist ass stapler. We both black stapler. You're not supposed to be trying to staple motherfuckers of your own kind. You could staple the Spanish bitches or the Chinese bitches. Don't be trying to staple me, bitch. I thought we were cool. But no, that is. I have like a newfound respect for staplers. And it still makes me nervous when I have to use one. Like just now I was stapling a document. <laughs> Guys, you, you guys are going to think I'm fucking crazy. But like I was legit stapling a document just now. And I like... I was so careful. I was I was so like mindful that I had a fucking stapler that's you know powerful enough to kill a motherfucker. I mean, it doesn't really hurt unless like you apply like hella pressure to it, but nonetheless, I still see the little dot. Like I'm looking at it right now. I still see that little dot. I don't care what nobody say. But I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because I really thought I was going to die. But this this video is getting too long. So I'm just going to stop rambling. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.